ex-partner Brandon Blackstock allegedly thought Kelly Clarkson wasn't sexy enough for The Voice. For nine seasons, Kelly Clarkson was a successful coach on The Voice, but her ex-husband Brandon Blackstock is said to have questioned her qualifications. Clarkson says in court filings that were made public on Tuesday by the New York Post that Blackstock previously told her she wasn't sexy enough to compete on the NBC talent show. Blackstock, who managed Clarkson for years, is also said to have informed her that NBC executives were looking for a more sex symbol type like singer Rihanna and that Clarkson's public persona was too similar to that of another voice coach, country musician Blake Shelton. According to the Post, Clarkson said to her attorney Ed McPherson, well, a wife doesn't forget a time she gets told she's not a sex symbol, so that stays, when questioned about the conversation in court. After that, in 2018, Clarkson joined The Voice for season 14 and stayed on the show until its 20 first season in 2021. For season 23, which concluded in May of last year, she made a comeback. Blackstock hasn't made any public remarks regarding the Post's article. However, due to illegal business transactions he conducted on his ex-wife's behalf, a California labor commissioner ordered him to pay Clarkson more than $2.6 million in November. 2020 saw the end of Clarkson and Blackstock's seven-year marriage. In 2022, their divorce became official. River Rose, age nine, and Remington Alexander, age seven, are their shared children. According to reports, Clarkson's initial obligation to pay Blackstock $115,000 per month in spousal support ended this month. With the release of her 10th studio album, Chemistry, last year, the former American Idol contestant and talk show host also made references to the breakdown of her marriage. In a People interview that was released on Wednesday, Clarkson talked candidly about how songwriting serves as a healthy outlet for her grief. The degree of depression and the associated difficulties with divorce or mourning are very difficult, she remarked. You feel so alone, and having that outlet for those overwhelming emotions is just a blessing.